I am Paris, um, people call me Monster, I am known as Monster, I have done gaming when I was young and I am now moving into commercial presenting and I do a lot of music so um, obviously I've got Monster as a brand and I've got Paris as a brand and Monster covers my gaming stuff online and uh, Paris are more uh, the music side of me and the more official presenting side of me. Tottenham was a bit crazy, I mean I used to go to school with my boy Keanu we would walk home and, and nothing would happen, like, I've, I've never really been approached by anyone, um, any gangs or anything, I've never really been robbed, I was, I grew up quite fine, I never really got into any trouble and stuff, it was pretty cool, I mean it was, it was like normal, it was like normal, it was, it was second nature to me because that's where I lived, I used to live in Camden but I moved to Tottenham when I, when I started, I think before I went to secondary school. How was my school experience? Um, a lot of teachers hated me. Um, not obviously teachers have to do have to do what they got to do, but a lot of teachers, um, a lot of teachers kind of thought, all right, you know, he's a different. He wants to do his own thing, and a lot of pupils already are for that as well. So they didn't like me. They liked the fact that I wanted to do my own thing. Um, I was very, very. Um, active, I was very, very talkative, so I went into a lot of trouble and then my when I started YouTube in year 10, um, well through year 11, I got a lot of stick and a lot of hate uh, from people just just talking stupidness, man. And it was just frustrating because I was trying to just do my thing, make my music, I'd be on YouTube and um, teachers were telling me, oh yeah, you swear in your videos and stuff, while I come into school and it was just a bit like, leave me, leave me alone, you know what I'm trying to say, let me do my own thing. But my legs, I don't feel right, you know when your body gets strong, feel right. Day, I just feel fucked. <laughs> yeah, my hands are gone, I have to wrap my hands around my scarf and that. Look, that's Keanu, that's nice. my hands in here and that. There's big Keanu. Man, I cured you 1K and that, 1K. My parents, they... They didn't understand it. If they didn't really know when I started it, I just started to just start making videos. I was always in my room anyway. So they just saw it as normal. They thought I would just play with my friends and talk to my friends on Xbox, because that's what I would do anyway. But then they started to realise when I asked my mum to buy me a HD PVR. This captures my old Xbox. It's got loads of stuff in the back. Yeah, you connect so many wires to this and it will just it will just capture your, your Xbox and I just just make videos and record it and then just upload it and they, my parents didn't know until they they saw me really actively uh, just getting around the house and just recording. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It was a bit it was a bit crazy. What actually inspired me was the fact that I could actually be myself and just do anything and also just entertain people. Like as low as the numbers were, I was just having fun doing something else. Do you know what I mean? I was always that kid that would just do what do something else to to what the norm was. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It was all I was always, it was always that for me. When did my success with YouTube start to happen? Um, I did a few videos of a few big other YouTubers that I actually knew from ages ago. They blew up bigger than me and I, I then started to, start to do some collaborations with them. They kind of helped me and then I made a playing FIFA song and that song just totally blew up, blew me out of the water. And uh, ever since then, like it's actually on 2 million views currently. And when I'm making videos online, I'm playing FIFA. I always made music. It's my it's something that my family will. I'm like it's really a family orientated thing. Um, but with playing FIFA, it just gave me a lot more confidence. Like I thought, oh, I can actually do this, and people actually like it. So I thought, all right, I'm a I'm a properly go into it, like start start making some music and uploading it to YouTube. And obviously, there's a few other tracks that well, quite a lot of other tracks that I've done during um, myself doing YouTube. It was one of the first songs I ever made. Um, wow, I think it was a song that I shared on. I used to make songs and share it on BBM Blackberry Messenger and send it to all my friends and asking what they were. I think, but I think it was a. 
I can't remember, man. That was year. That was like year seven. That was like what? Well, that's when that's ten years ago, isn't it? Mm. It's around ten years ago. Yeah. Like that's mad. Like no, I can't remember that. But I do know there was one of the songs that I made. It was called um, one of the old ones was like called Holding On, and um, yeah, we're holding on, we're holding on, and it's like um, I listened back to some of my old tracks and I think that like, actually dictate my future. Like I was saying, like I want to be this, I want to be that in my lyrics. And I, I'm I, like, it's actually like if you actually look at where I'm now, it's like similar to where I am now. So it's actually quite quite interesting, reminiscent. Can anybody live off YouTube? Of course, but you just gotta not put all your eggs in one basket. You gotta just try and and just upload videos and stuff. It's a bit harder now. I think YouTube's made some changes that I personally think that it's made it harder for people that are coming up. But you gotta give it your your all, man. You gotta give it your best. That's what I did years ago. I personally wish that it was how it was years ago, but nothing stays the same forever, man. You just gotta keep 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 pushing on, keep improving, keep adapting to the times. <laughs> What opportunities has YouTube given me? Crazy. Um, so many opportunities. Opportunities to act. Opportunities to to present. Opportunities to make music. Opportunities to, to, to share my music. Um, endless opportunities. Opportunities to build a skill. Learn how to edit. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And I'm so grateful. It's shaped me into who, exactly who I am today. <laughs> What has been my most fun YouTube experience? Um, uh, experience definitely doing the Legends of Gaming live show and also going to like Legends of Gaming events and also going to events in general. That is just amazing. Like when you go to events and you see all your fans there and like loads of kids running up to you asking for pictures. Like I've had some amazing experiences, man. That you know, with experiences, you can, you can, you can't really. You can't really take that away from yourself. You know what I'm saying? You have to just use that, use that to just push yourself further and store it in your mind and remember that that stuff happens. I hold a lot of pride in my car because that's something that I can look at every day. I've, that's one of the things that I look at every day and think, okay, from young I I grinded for that, and I'm able to now drive a nice car. And a lot of people were not able to do that one their first car. And I just I'm just so grateful. Uh, I t it's like it's like, it's, the pride is more like being grateful. I show it a lot on my social media because I want people to know that I'm I'm proud, you know, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for them. But obviously people talk stuff and people just start, people say I'm maybe arrogant or whatever, but at the end of the day, if you work hard for something, when all right, so you should be able to show it off and, and people should be able to see that through how you are. Yo guys, what's going on? I am back in the public. I'm in Oxford Circus. No. Hey. What is this? Oh, yeah, I'm, so I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm gonna ask you. It's all right. It's all right. Go on, go on, go on. All right. All right. The question is, right? Yeah. Go on. Can yeah, white yeah. people use the N word? I don't think so. What is the work effort being a YouTuber and musician at the same time? It is very, very hard. I'm not. I can't lie. I, I, I'm passionate about music, so I love to spend time on my music. Like I would love to just sit there every day and just make music. But I've got the YouTube, so it is. Sometimes you gotta balance it. You gotta sometimes. YouTube drops and you, you're putting time into music one, one week and then the other week, you know, you, you put in time into YouTube one week and the other week. And it's a bit mad because YouTube is very time consuming. You've got to be on your computer all day, all day. And I'm, I've am i sort of grown out from doing that. So I'm just, I don't remember just finding ways of just, even if it's just recording, what, making music and stuff, just finding ways to keep my YouTube active and loving what I do with music. Pros and cons about YouTube, in my opinion. The pros are, you get to do something, you get to be yourself, you get to learn a new skill, you get to learn many new skills to build something. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's like more of a build. You you spend your you spend your time building something. Like right now I'm so proud that I've been able to build something over these years and I've I've now I'm in this position now and I I've 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 got options. And you're able to build something from young. And that's what I did. From young I built something my, my family watched me build something and now it's built into something so great. And I just gotta push it on, but the the cons, ah, it's a bit it's a bit mad. Like people won't believe in you, people won't always support you. 
you might go through uh, sad moments, sad depression moment, depressing moments, not depression, but depressing moments where your video won't turn out as well as you think it would or people won't see what you're doing as good as you do. Um, you might end up concentrating on it too much. You might slack in other things. There's a few other cons as well, but that's the main ones, I guess. Three years, but I see the platform. I see the platform as just something way bigger, three times bigger than it is, man. Like, it is currently big, it's growing every single day. Yeah, I think they're gonna change it a lot. They're gonna make it more commercial, they're gonna make it more people like friendly for people that don't know about YouTubers. They're gonna make it, they're gonna, they're gonna. I think YouTube has the power in controlling the content that people upload. And that's why, that's what they're gonna work on. They're gonna work on just controlling the content, making the content more friendly um, to, to, to everyone and uh, not less, because back in the day, it used to just be like, you know, whatever you want, whether it's got swearing in it, whether it's cussing, whoever, but now there's certain rules put in place now a days that you can't do that. So I think they're just gonna more really commercialize it, make it more, you know, so your mum and your dad can sit there and watch YouTube for the whole day. That's what they're trying to do. Music wise, where I wanna be at the end of the year? Well, I've got a couple of projects that are gonna be dropping um, this year, like fact, quite a lot. I mean, I've really, I've really shied away from presenting myself as a musician for years now. And now I think it's time, I've, 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 I'm rebranding myself as Paris in music, and I'm just gonna make songs with a lot of people. I'm gonna collaborate with a lot of um, artists and a lot of big artists and stuff that I know and that people know around me. And I've um, teamed up with um, a good team and I've got a good team behind me. I'm in the corner of the dance floor, watching from the side ready. Come here and dance with me, come here and dance with me. Come here and dance with me, come here and dance with me. By the end of the year, I hope to just be doing shows, just to people to know about me, just to people to see me in the street, recognizing me for, for music. You know what I mean? I don't want people to look at me like, oh, this is a like YouTuber that's trying to do music. I want people to see me right after that musician that's doing YouTube. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Because that's my passion. Two years time, I want to be doing serious things. I want to be doing music. I want to be doing. I want to be even. I want to be bigger music. I want to be doing some amazing songs because I improve so much every month with music because I make so much music every month. So, um, and by the way, I got a studio in my house, so that's why I, I improve so much. I'm always in the studio, night or day. I can go in the studio at five a.m. and it was, I can just make music on my own. So. In two years' time, I want to be presenting. I want to be making music. I want to be. I want to be one of the new generation. Only part of the new generation that can just do everything, because I can do everything. Only part of the new generation that can do YouTube, music, presenting on TV, in and acting as well, all at the same time. So let's hope. Let's hope. Let's pray that that works out. No one's gonna make a New Year's resolution for you. So you gotta work, and you gotta work for. You gotta work for what you want. You gotta know what you you gotta know what you want. Well, a lot of people want success, but they don't want to work for it. Yeah. Take time, take time, and know.